you gave people a reason to be like, yo, the Tennessee Titans are cool. Mm-hmm. Like this is cool, and this is why it's cool. This is the look at their running back. Who's that guy? He's massive. Oh, it's, it's Derrick Henry. Who's Derrick Henry? Oh, he won the Heisman. Oh, he just ran ninety nine yards. Look at this. He just stiff did this. Highlight. Yeah, look at the stiff. Like you, instead of being somewhere that's already established as we'll just use cool for lack of a better word, cool. You now get to be like at the, at this time, this time frame in life, you were a big reason why a franchise was evaluated, and kids were like, I want to root for this team. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, and that's why, <clears throat> you know, I um, you know, I said what I said on Instagram post. You know, I hope I you know, left the fans with something that they can smile about and be proud about. And um, you know, I'm proud and happy that at some point they felt like they had some bragging rights for their team. And um, and you know, I was blessed to be and you too, and you're part of it too, to be able to help turn it around. <clears throat> Because we, I mean, we all put in work to help do uh, what, 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 what happened um, throughout those years um, that we had that run, and um, you know, it was just cool to uh, be able to do something like that. Um, you know, me coming from Bama, and then what was y'all record the year before? Before we came, before I came in thirteen. Yeah, and then us going that last game, missing the playoffs, and then making the playoffs. Man, it was just uh, it was cool, man, and I hope that. Um, all the young kids were inspired. Um, hope I was somebody that they can look up to. Um, hope I, I'm somebody that they, you know, grow up to want to be better than at this football or anything. But like, you know, I'm blessed. I'm I'm thankful. You know, as a kid um, playing this game, the impact that you know God allowed me to have. I mean, that's what you want. You know what I mean? Don't you know? Get no better. I mean, like I said, I want to win the Super Bowl. I ain't done playing. I ain't even close to done playing. I still feel I can run for another 2,000, but um, that's for, you know, the future to tell. But, oh, uh, yeah, man. I'm grateful. So what is, what is next for Derrick Henry? Shit. How do you feel like you're approaching this free agency outside of, like, financial security? Is it like I want to be part of a, a Super Bowl contender? Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I mean, I want to be somewhere that – um, what I mean, wh- whatever happens, that gives me the best shot of winning the Super Bowl. You know, um, uh, the the business side is the business side. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, it has to make sense. Mm. You know, I'm just not going, you know, just just accept anything at the same time because you know it's a long season. We put our bodies through a lot, but at the same time, um, I definitely want to be on a roster that you know can go out there and put ourselves in position and um, be able to win games and get in the playoffs and contend for a ring. Yeah. When you when you say stuff like that, it seems like the, the door to the Titans is closed. Um and that's not a bad thing if it is no, like I'm not I'm not I'm not saying it like it's it's closed, but I just feel like like I said earlier, I feel like they're going in, in a different direction. Mm. And I feel like today definitely solidified that. And that's okay. That that happens. That's the nature of the business. If we want something to last for forever, nothing nothing does, especially in this business. Um, so um, you know, I you know I'll always be a titan. Um, even if I don't uh, come back, but um, at the end of the day, um, you know I want to win the Super Bowl and whatever. Wherever that is, that gives me the best chance, and that's that's what I want to do. But like, it ain't. I mean, I don't, you know, have no bad blood or feel feel no type of way if I if I'm not back. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just, you know, what was supposed to happen. Um, just I mean, the story already written. You know, we all we all just living it. Yeah, yeah. I have his to- uh, his uh, stats, his rank all time as a Titans running back. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. What? No, I don't do that, no. I'm just giving you flowers, man. Yeah, I know, but no, but no, but no, but no. You can do it in the no. intro. But no, I just, right, you know, right, I feel right. like, um, I don't know, man. Just, Here's what I'll say. I mean, saying. bro, 90 touchdowns, like, number one by, seven, like, 17 is, you're 17 over the second place person, which is Earl Campbell, which is what a name to be, to be in the conversation with. You did some dope things, bro. Like Taylor was saying earlier, like, you did, you made, like, now I know that you talk like it's collective. It, it is. It's a team. No, game. no, 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 it is collective, but it's just like 
I don't know. It's just something about it. I'm just like, you know, I I, I know um, far as stat wise, you know, I'm in a conversation with the the grace that played here, but I just feel like I don't know. I just feel like I could have done some so much more. But that's just me, and I ain't, you know I'm not. It's a reason why you're so successful. That's just that's just me. I mean, I, I mean, I I, I, pre- I appreciate you doing that, but I don't I, I don't want to hear it though. I don't want to hear it. Here's what I'll say to this. There are... I mean, they're pretty nuts. Oh, yeah. yeah. There are records that are so within reach. And so, like, obviously, like, you're going to do what you got to do, and I would never say, like, you need to go here. If we just played the hypothetical game of you staying with the Titans, just playing the hypothetical game, pretty sure you need, like, 600 more yards to get 10,000. Um, you need... You had a touchdown in this last game. You have one or two touchdowns in the last game. And not, only, not only 10,000, but to lead... All yeah, to beat Russian Eddie George for Tennessee, and then you had you need ten more touchdowns to lead. I think being a crazy, there's like a ten record. More, no, ten more to get a hundred touchdowns. Ten more to get a hundred. But there's He's, something else. There's something that I think Nate Bain was telling me about, or Puff was telling me about. And I was like, that's nuts. That is, in my mind, the incentive of legacy, as opposed to let's say you were thinking like you just said, I'm, I'm going to play a lot more. I can still run for two thousand. Hypothetically speaking, if we were sitting in a situation where you're like, I got one or two more in me staying with the Titans and getting those records and cementing what is already cemented, but just adding to the, the beautiful sculpture you've mm-hmm. created of Nashville would be sick. Yeah. But I, if I'm you would not want to be at the Titans. I, was gonna say, I don't think the boys got the squad that's gonna, and I'm not like saying that disrespectfully. Yeah. 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 This, there are ways away from like, you know, if, if, if people, cause everybody, the whole Titans family is going to root for Derek. No matter what. Uh, no matter what. They, if anything, like even so when the talks it. of him of getting traded, everyone was not against it. It was, if anything, it was like on board. And it's like, man, ship him to a team where he can go win a Super Bowl. Yeah. He's had that type of impact. That was like the same with KB. Everybody like, well, at least he gets to go, you know, to the Eagles. And it seems like they would at the time, like they're still in the playoffs, but hey, you get a shot to go chase the Super Bowl. Yeah. 